Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today's video, I'll be going over how to set up your personal email or your work email on your Apple iPhone. Before I begin, give this video a like, show me some love, comment down below if you have any questions, and definitely subscribe if you're new to the channel. I do a lot of tech how-tos, tutorial guides, all that good stuff. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into Air Server. Uh, you can follow along with me on my iPhone and do the same on yours. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to be going over how to set up a personal email on your phone or a work email. So let's just jump right into it. I'm going to click on Air Server here. All right, so here we are on my iPhone. For you to follow along, I want you to click on the settings gear right here. Uh, it may be on your home page. It may be somewhere else. But click on that for me. Whoops, settings here. Then from here, I want you to scroll down. You may be, you know, at the top here. I want you to scroll down until you see passwords and accounts. Click on that for me. From here, I want you to click on add account. Okay, so from here, you can choose one of uh, many different options. Now, if you're setting up your personal Gmail, you will click Google. If you were setting up a work email, most offices or businesses or schools, they work with uh, Outlook. But you're going to do Microsoft Exchange. I know it says Outlook here, um, but for a work one or uh, business or school, you're going to do Microsoft Exchange. Just ignore this one. So if it's your personal one, if it's your personal Google one, Yahoo or AOL, uh, click one of these options. If it's your work one and you have Outlook, click on Exchange, and so on and so forth. So I'm going to just set up my Google one on my phone here. So I'm going to click on Google. And if this uh, window pops up, just hit on Continue. It's going to have you sign in with your Google, uh, Google account. So I'm going to sign in here with my Google account. Next, put your password in. Hit next when you're finished. And then from here, it's going to ask if you want to sync your mail, your contacts, your calendars, and your notes. I'm just going to sync my mail and then hit save, top right hand corner. It's gonna say account added. So if you go back all the way to your home page and click on, and I have to find it because it's not on my, I moved it, it's not on my home, my main home page. It's on my second one. You're gonna look for the mail app right here. It may be on your home page, it may not be. But just click on that and see how it says I have 22 emails. That's because I have my Gmail account hooked up to this. So I'll click on that. And as you can see, all my emails are here and they're updating. And the last one I had was actually a few minutes ago. Google telling me that I'm signing in on to, to my iPhone. So, and as you get new mails, new emails from time to time, um, it'll alert you, send you a sound, or it'll show you the picture right here. If you have five new emails, 22 new emails like I do, 23 now. Um, it will definitely let you know. So hopefully that helped, guys. That was just a quick video on how to add your email to your iPhone. Now that I showed you how to set up your personal Gmail address, I'm going to show you how to set up your work email on your iPhone. Just go back into the settings for me. From here, you want to do the same thing that I showed you a little bit ago. Scroll down to you see passwords and accounts. It's a little get some lag there, but right there it is. Hit that for me. From here, you're going to do add account. And then, like I said, if you work for a business or a school, you're more than likely are using an Outlook email address. For that, you're going to click on Microsoft Exchange. And then here, type in your email, your work email.
and then for description you can name it whatever you want you can name it work email you can name it your company's email whatever you want I'll just do work email and then hit next and then here it's going to say sign into your company's exchange account using Microsoft. Click on sign in. It's going to take you to the login page for your company. Put your email address in. Put your email address and put your password in. Your work email password. Then hit sign in. From here just hit continue. And then you can sync whatever you want. I'm just going to sync mail and then hit save. And that's it guys. So if you go down and go back to your mail app, the second page here, um, not only will you have your personal email address listed, but you'll also have your work email address listed. I'm not going to jump into my work email um, just because I don't want, you know, my work emails out there on the interwebs, but it'll be showing two accounts your work one and your personal one. Um, so you're ready to rock and roll. So disconnect from air server. But that's pretty much it guys. That is how you um, configure your personal email or your work email on your Apple iPhone. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. I appreciate it. Comment down below if you have any questions and definitely subscribe if you're new to the channel. I appreciate it all and I appreciate all my subscribers and I'll catch you guys on the next one.